Hey, this is King David. I want to give you a quick class on uh, talent development. Uh, first of all, one of the reasons uh, that I hear people complaining about uh, not being taught the right thing and they think that they're not where they're supposed to be because they don't have the right information and other people are withholding information, uh, that's the biggest misconception in the world. If that's the case, all of us would be equally as, as uh, talented. Everybody would sing the same because we all have access to the same information. The truth is some people have a knack for applying themselves uh, to that skill that it takes to develop the talent. In other words, you still have to put in the work. After you get the information and you get the software, you still have to work at your talent. Okay, I remember years and hours of playing scales over and over and over on piano, trumpet, vocals. That work is what develops your skills, not the software, whether you have the right plugins and so forth. A lot of people that are immature don't want to hear that, but mature people who are ready to learn, uh, like my students over at Food and Loops University, accept that fact and they go into it headstrong and they begin to develop their own sense of identity. Um, I know that many of you have gotten to a place where you just are not getting any better. You got all the software, you've watched all the tutorials, and you've gotten better, but now you just there's nowhere else for you to go. So that's when you need to cross over into the world of FL Studio. That's where we begin to help you develop your talent. Now it takes talent to develop talent. So you have to have talent in order to teach talent. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're teaching talent. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of a lesson that I began teaching last week in uh, FL Studio, and it's called uh, cross-platform production. All right, Cl cross-platform production means that you're going to not just um, rely on one environment to produce your music. You're going to use several platforms: FL Studio, Adobe Audition, Pro Tools, Cubase, everything. This way, you get out of your head any war or any battle that's supposed to be going on. First of all, battle and war and music don't mix. All right, just don't mix because you don't battle with music. Music is something that is actually used to teach, train, uplift inspire that's really what music is about so if you're having a battle in your brain with music uh, you might want to change your thinking and begin to think of music as an expressive tool not a tool with which you battle all right so let's use it as an expressive tool I'm gonna take a very commonly uh, known song called uh, it's similar to Pachelbel's Canon it's gonna be an A flat Okay, we're going to go ahead and loop that. And just for time purposes, I already went ahead and sequenced it into my Korg Triton. So when I hit play, you'll hear it. Okay, now I've brought that into the Adobe Audition environment. All right. And let me give, get that sign out of your way right there. You don't need to be looking at that. Uh, it says develop your talent. And I just want to keep on encouraging you to develop your talent. Don't worry so much about software. A person who's developed their talent can take uh, uh, two coconuts and a flute and make a better song than someone who has all of the plugins and all of the tutorials in the world. Develop your talent, okay? And if you don't believe me, go listen to uh, Dr. Bobby McFerrin, and he did all with his voice. He he uh, multi multi platinum. I'm talking about 10 million more records sold of "Don't Worry, Be Happy." He did that all with his voice and his imagination. That is what talent is. It's not a software. All right, so here we go. We've got our music here. It's on track one, and I went ahead in the booth just for time's sake, and I did some vocals. All right, so you might want to go ahead and record your vocals, which is what we did, and your music in Adobe Audition and begin to do that there, right? Now what we want to do is go ahead and export this. Now, before I do that, I ran my vocals through various effects, uh, EQ, um, I did a delay, um, and I, on my music I did a stereo expander and also a parametric EQ. 
So now we have a stereo field. I took some of the bottom out of my music. Now here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and render this, export as a file to audio mix down. All right. It's going to ask me where to save it. I'm going to go ahead and save it uh, in my music. So it's easy to pull into my FL Studio environment. Now I showed you before how to set up folders in FL Studio so that you can have access to your music through FL Studio. And you, if you want to go through the archives over at, uh, actually, you can actually just join over at Fruity Loops University, free class, and come, and uh, I'll answer your questions on Friday. All right, so I'm going to go to my music, leave my music there, and I'm going to just call this cross platform. And I'll spell it right experiment exp. And then I'm going to open up uh, FL Studio 9. All right, now it should already be in my My Music folder. So I'm going to come here, look for My Music, and I saved it in the cross platform EXP, right? So I'm going to left click and drag it straight into the, straight into the playlist. All right, I'm not going to waste any time um, just pulling it in to the, um, <laughs> I'm not going to waste any time bringing it into the step sequencer. I'm going to pull it directly into the playlist. Now I'm going to set my tempo. Remember we said it was 72, right? So I'm sliding down to 72. Boom. I got it. 73, 72. All right. Now I should be able to put on my metronome and see if it locks up with that tempo. If not, I may have to do some shaving off of that sample. Here we go. Oh, I got to put it in song mode. Here we go. And it does. I need to do some shaving. So here's what I'm going to do. Left click on my channel settings. Right click on my edit. All right. Left click on edit. Bam. Now I can stretch this out using my zoom time. Zoom in. Bam. All right. Zoom in. I'm going to keep going until I get me a, a nice, nice, nice look at what's going on. Now I can see that this beginning needs to be cut off. All right, and I might even want to zoom more so I can get more detail. Bam, now I can see uh, right about there, maybe. All right, now cut it, left kick, left click, cut it. Bam, save my sample, save sample as. I'm going to let it save as a EXP2. In other words, I'm not going to overwrite the, the original, right? Now I'm going to hit my reload button here, which is nothing but a refresh button like you have on Windows. All right. Now that's the new version. I'm going to drag that into the playlist. Get rid of the old and play it and see if it matches up. All right. It matches up perfectly. Now from there, and I know I'm probably cutting it really close with my time. From there, I can now pull in drums, I can bring in my uh, FPC, pull up a drum kit, make a simple drum beat. Let me look for a simple uh, R&B kit maybe. All right, I can make a, all right, get off of my ASIO driver and go directly to my uh, Firewire. All right, I make a simple pattern on pattern one. One, two, three, all right, so, uh huh. It's basic pattern. Boom, 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 boom. Drag that pattern in uh, to the playlist. Put it under my my music. I want to go for my paint brush so I can just quickly paint this rhythm in. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time, so I might need to use my zoom time to give me more leverage. Bam. Slide it. Boom. It should lock right into my, my, my music. Take away my metronome and play it back. Uh, yeah. And that's it. That's King David. Cross platform production. It is what we teach. One of the techniques that we teach over at uh, Fruit Loops University, but overall, what we teach is talent. You got to have talent to teach it. So come on over and begin to move out of the world of 
uh, knowledge and tutorials and move into the world of talent. All right, King David, one love, peace. Hit no, I'm not gonna save any of this.